everyone, today I'm going to do a short Fallout 76 guide video showing you some easy ways to farm the items you need to craft the different types of flux. Now I'm guessing if you're watching this video you know what flux is used for, but for anyone that doesn't know, very briefly, it's used for like uh, ammo that you use for prime weapons, crafting jetpacks, and the good old decontamination shower, as well as a couple of other little bits and bobs. I'm also not going to be showing you where to farm raw flux. If that's what you're wanting, I'll post a link to a Reddit thread in the description showing you where to farm each individual variant. What I am going to show you though is two easy spots where you can find the ingredients to turn your raw flux into pure flux. These include hardened mass, glowing mass and high radiation fluids. If this video helps you out, be sure to click on that like button for me and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Also, if you have any tips that you think are better than mine, or just any you think will also like help people out, make sure to help others out by commenting your tips down below. Okay, so first of all, you're going to either need to drop a nuke yourself or get a friend to help you out. And the first place you're going to want to hit is Tanangra Town, as you can see on screen. It's over on the right hand side of the map, pretty easy and well known location, but in case you don't know, there it is. After nuking here, follow the paths until you enter the cave system. Now it's very helpful to get like a friend to help you or maybe a few friends help here unless you are lucky enough to get the game to bug out and yeah then you don't need a friend. Now once inside kill the enemies and since you're in the nuke zone these enemies will have a chance of dropping some of the items you need for the crafting. Now here is the trick, once you've killed all of the enemies one of you go up to an ultra side vein and collect it. This will instantly spawn more enemies all dropping the flux ingredients Obviously the more friends you get to help you, the more you will get. If you get lucky though, the vein will bug and allow you to keep collecting it and then it'll be like just keep spawning and spawning enemies every time you collect it. So hopefully you get lucky. I didn't on this run unfortunately, as you see I ended up getting a few people to help out and stuff. So it went quite smoothly, but like I say, try and get the, try and get the bug out. I don't think there's any kind of magical way of doing the bug, but it's just kind of random. So hopefully you get it. Now I would like to say a massive shout out to Reasonable Madness for the video suggestion and the tips. I've been told there isn't many videos actually showing this method and the ones that are out there, a lot of them are in like different languages and stuff, so not very clear if you don't speak them languages. So here I am making this video. Also, you know, some people were asking about this in the uh, Discord. If you haven't joined the Discord, link's also in the description. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people were asking, so here's a little tip for you. Also, another location which is nice and easy and maybe better for you if you uh, can't be bothered to nuke somewhere yourself. And that is going to be the popular nuke site which is down at the Queen. Here again there's more ultra side veins which you can keep like spawning and keep collecting them and spawning more scorched enemies. There's also a bunch of enemies just dotted around this area anyways because of the Queen. So if you get into the actual nuke zone, maybe if you want to drop a nuke on the Queen yourself, actually cover in the main area where you'll be fighting and all the enemies you're fighting will hopefully drop you some of these needed ingredients for your crafting. This location is also really good for a few different types of raw flux so you could save the effort of dropping yet another nuke to collect flux unless you need like a large amount of it uh, which you do tend to, you need like 10 of each every time so definitely use the uh, the flux perk, not the flux one, the flora one, the way you collect it, the nuke flora and uh, keep collecting like twice the amount when you collect the stuff. That'll help you out a big amount. And obviously when you're crafting, don't forget to use like super duper and bits and bobs. Because, you know, gotta, gotta get your money's worth, you know. There's lots of other places you can nuke to do this as well. Or just get a bunch of enemies in general to kill and farm the materials you need. Such as like White Springs. But I'm not sure if they ever fixed the nuke bug with that place. Where no enemies spawn after nuking it. But yeah, there is my little tips and guides. If you have a location which you use which is better than these spots, by all means let me know in the comments section down below. It'll help me out as well as other people. But as far as I'm aware, these two locations are pretty much like on par with the best. Especially Tanangra Town if you can get it a bug. That place is just like unbelievable if you get the bug working. So definitely have a go at that. And yeah, happy farming fires. If you've enjoyed this video and it helped you out, don't forget to hit on that like button. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all later. Bye bye.